Okay guys, how do you do? Uh, good to have you. Sorry that we were coming a bit late today. Uh, I had to leave um, I had to leave Lagos to come back to Abuja so I'm in Abuja as I speak to you right now. So thank you Lagos, thank you to every of all of the wonderful people that I met in Lagos for the for the very first time. Uh, it was amazing it was amazing i had a very very wonderful time uh yeah i mean it was really it was really really cool so thank you lagos thank you lagos thank you lagos all right so as usual i will go straight to it we we'll just go straight to it because i mean <laughs> there's no time when i was one of the things that we discussed before was i was telling you about the doings of the money maker and i also told you about the the speed of the money maker and i explained to you that the speed of money maker is in the urgency of execution okay so that when everybody else is stuck at planning when everybody is stuck about thinking the person who's going to make a lot of money is the one who does so the speed the person who has speed in money making is the person who has speed in execution okay so i want to add a little thing to it so it's not just speed in execution but also speed in learning because when you execute you learn i've explained to you that the highest level of knowing is doing that the highest level of knowing is doing i explained that to you very well so so if you are doing with speed you also have to be learning with speed because as you do you learn as you know so doing is the best form of learning and doing is the highest proof of knowing. Doing is the highest form of learning. Doing is also the highest proof of knowing, which means that knowing is the highest proof of learning. Okay? All right. All right. So I told you that, which is why, you know, Yemi, you're welcome, which is why we just make sure that we fire on, which is why we make sure that we fire on. All right. So yesterday I discussed with you guys money and the game of solitude the game of solitary being alone or the situation and circumstance when you are alone not just physically but also mentally or in terms of thought and opinion because it's very very possible that nobody else nobody else is thinking what you're thinking okay which could also mean that nobody else is seeing what you're seeing all right and I told you that you need to internalize the fact that there is power in being alone. Okay, I still have other things I'm going to discuss later in future that will help you to build on that very, very well. Okay, I hope my music is not too loud because it's Bella Shmoda on the background, and I'm just and I'm just feeling him like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm reducing it a bit now. All right, so. Let me tell you what I want to discuss today. Let me tell you what I want to discuss today. Today I want to discuss money and the game of light. Money and the, and the game of light. Okay? And, and one of the reasons why you are alone is because sometimes you are the only one who is seeing what you are seeing. Okay? Which may be a function of two things. And one of those two things is what I am going to explain today. Foyan Flora, nice to have you. So nice to have you, Foyan Flora. So nice to have you. So that could be a function of two things. One thing is, first of all, it could be the function of light. The fact that there is light. Great deal, Africa, you're welcome. The fact that there is light, so you are able to see something. And sometimes, it's not even sometimes, a lot of times, light is specific to the seer. Okay? Light is specific to the seer. Sometimes, what you call light, people think that what you call light is is something shining from above like the sun for example people think that that is light okay however you need to understand that even that sun that you are seeing eh, even that sun that you are seeing is specific to half of the hemisphere because right now when there is sun here and you think it's bright it's dark in other places in the world half of the world right now is dark it is only half that can see this sunlight okay that should tell you that even the sun that is the, is the biggest source of light is also specific how much more when it comes to understanding how much more when it comes to light on specific issues you have to therefore know that light is specific to every 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 individual 
okay so what the person has light on the other person may not have light on it okay so you must understand that it is first in the understanding of that that will allow you not to bother when you see things and the other person does not see it so when two when two people cannot see the same thing it can be a function of two things one is the light which is an external factor as it were okay and then the other one is sight which is an internal factor both internal and external factor must align for things to happen okay that is why even if you wanted a miracle you need faith that is inside of you all right okay so so the power for a miracle for example may not be available yet you're unable to act may be available and yet you're unable to access because you the internal factor of faith is absent all right very very good so that's the same way that it works all right so today i am talking about money and the game of light and i want to show you few things just few things that i want to show you i just want to show you few things once you get these very few things you will be fine i'm telling you will be fine all right good good so there was this day i was having this conversation with somebody and in the conversation i realized that i had goose pimples all over my body because it was something that i had been inspired with before and then this person was telling me the same exact thing and he was saying that if you if you are no matter who you are except if you are an atheist okay and if you are an atheist even you even if you don't believe in god <laughs> even you will have to agree that light is important okay but if you are if you are religious in any way and you belong to any religion and you have brief history or documentation according to christianity for example you will understand that the first thing that god created was light okay why why did god create light first how come god thought oh so i'm going to create a beautiful world and has to, light has to be the first thing why 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 does light have to be the first thing because without light you cannot see the other things that you want to create they may exist for example if god didn't create light and he said uh, let there be trees there would have been trees but god would not have seen the trees as it were or the trees would not have seen themselves as it were okay so it is important for you to understand that there is light and and one thing that you also should get from that story is that the same light that god created he also made it the same source of energy which means that light illumination clarity always motivates always motivates which means that if you see if there is light on how a thing can happen for you you most likely will be motivated to make that thing happen so when people lack motivation is mostly that they lack light okay and so doctor this one that you are now talking light now you are beginning to sound somehow i don't want to say you are sounding spiritual you are sounding motivation now but so how do i now how does it apply to me okay so this is how it applies to you it applies to you in the sense that you want to build a big future for yourself i suppose yes good so you want to create things you want to create wealth you want to build empires oh very good very good since you want to do that it means that you you even you that you are a human being and you need to understand that if god is god and he's so powerful and everything and he decided to make light first and then he also make the light source of energy for every other thing that he's going to create that should tell you that you must also draw your own energy from light now so what light does that mean to you what light does that mean to you what does that light means to you how does that light come into play for you all right because you see another thing that light does for you is that it beams clarity and clarity beams speed remember that i taught you about speed okay i told you about speed we discussed the speed of the money maker and one of the things that i did not tell you at the time is i did not tell you that the other reason or the other way for you to find speed is to find light crown foot where's your welcome only you're welcome good to have you i did not tell you that the other way to have light is to have the other way to get speed is to have light okay which means that speed is um clarity light begets clarity clarity begets speed light begets clarity clarity begets speed okay clarity not only begets speed it also begets motivation the clearer you can see things 
the most likely you are going the more likely you are going to be motivated to achieve that thing okay now if you cannot see something it's difficult to to achieve that thing because you're not seeing it so you must understand that and it is very 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 important so how do you find light how do you find light how do you find light there are two ways to find light okay there are two ways to find light remember that i told you remember that i told you that for a thing to happen for you to see a thing for you to be able to see a thing there are two things that are involved okay there is light which is external and then there is sight which is internal i have not done the game of sight i'm going to do the game of sight maybe i should do the game of sight tomorrow so that you can link it up uh, most uh, effectively since i'm just doing light today okay so for something for you to see something for you to see something there are two factors involved there is light involved and then there is sight involved light is external mostly external sometimes it can be internal but light is mostly external but sight is internal sight is always internal god forbid that the person is blind when a person is blind does not mean that there is no light outside it just means that the person has no faculty to receive the images that the light is creating okay so you must understand that if anybody else does not understand that you must understand that and today i'm talking about that external factor called light that external factor called light i explained to you that it is very very important i have shown you that light that external factor called light begets clarity and clarity begets speed and i've explained to you that speed is in execution execution which means which means that you are doing which is the proof of knowing and then which is also the 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 highest form of learning okay do you remember i told you that very very good very very good so how do you find light what does light mean to you how do you find light how do you find light look around you look around you look around you you have light around you you have light around you people around you people who love you people who love you they are mostly your source of energy and your source of light so look around you you have people who love you there is nobody who does not have people who love them what happens to you is that you take the love of those who love you you take it for granted and you assume that is not that, that you assume that you can't draw energy from there that is a whole human being who is devoting all of their energy for you could be your dad or your mom or your siblings there are people who love you genuinely that's a source of light that is why that is why in in in, in malcolm gladwell book uh and there was this particular uh, town where people lived long and it didn't matter how much they were eating or how well they were eating they just used to live long and realized that it was because the families were were closely united which means that there was plenty of love which means that there was no particular child that did not have love in full dose there was no particular anybody that did not have love in full dose and then they lived long okay so your first source of light is those who love you your first source of light is those who love you so you must see that as a source of light okay yeah because there are desires of things that they want that they couldn't get you could get it for them you could get it for them okay the other source of light is in books 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 some people have some people have experiences which means that they've gathered energy now how they use the energy to beam light for you is in books you have to read you have to read you have to get a glimpse illumination into other people's mind that's another source of light that's another source of light you have to know that you have to know that you have to know that you see let me tell you the universe is a very 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 wonderful thing god is really really wonderful i'm telling you god is super intelligent god is super duper super duper intelligent because you will see how people say that i'm sending you love and light i'm sending you love and light have you ever wondered why people say that have you ever wondered people say it because something inside deep inside of them understand that the person that you are sending something to needs light why why do you say why do you say uh hello there i'm sending you love and light especially when you know that the person is going through stuff when people are going through stuff people will send messages to them and say and say i am sending you love and light 
Why? Why do you think people say I am sending you love and light? Because somewhere deep inside humanity, we understand that everybody needs light. So, so that you can reduce confusion. Because as soon as you reduce confusion, you will reduce depression. Why do you think people say that? Why do you think people say that? Why do you think people say that? People say that because it is a fundamental need for anybody who will be successful. It is a fundamental need for everybody who will be successful. That is why people say, I'm sending you love and light. So I have told you two sources to get light. You get light from people that you love. Stop taking the love of people who love you for granted. Parents and siblings and cousins. People love you genuinely. If you have not been seeing it and appreciating it, you are an ingrid. And I have told you, in fact, in fact, I need to do money and the law of gratitude. Oh my God. Oh my, no, 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 no. Oh, this is, oh God, oh God, oh God. I need to do money and love gratitude. I need to do money and the game of gratitude. Yeah, yeah. I need to do money and the game of gratitude. Yeah, I need to do it. I need to do it so I can understand. So I can understand. So I can understand. Okay. Now, that is how you get light. Two ways, those two ways for you to get light, they are very important. As long as you use those two ways, if it is never, you are never going to run out of light. Because there are several books, several minds, several, 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 several. The idea of light is that it shows you what is in front of you. It shows you what you already have. People think that, people think that, you don't know. It shows you what you already have. It shows you how to use what you already have. It shows you what you already know. So you can see, and that way you are able to create. Nobody, nobody, nobody can consciously create in the dark. The things that can happen in the dark are supernatural things, like ideas, like metamorphosis, and you should allow that, okay? But there is a place for light and you must never miss the place of light. You must never miss the place of light. You must never ever miss light. Don't miss light. Okay? Because, because if you allow light, you are going to get... Excuse me. If you allow light, you are going to get clarity. And when you get clarity, you are going to get speed. And when you get speed, you are going to get good lessons. And when you do that over and over, you are going to have outstanding results. And there is no result that you have that cannot translate into huge money if you want it. So, that is how, that is how, that is how you know, come to know and come to understand the place of light. That's how you come to understand the place of light. That is how money translates to light. Because let me tell you, people who lack light will get depressed. And then they will kill themselves, God forbid. And then it won't matter whether they had a penny or not. But for anybody who is going to have good success, good success, good success, good success, they must have light. They must have light. It just has to be. In fact, even plants, plants know. If you put a plant inside, it will start bending towards the light. If a plant that does not have a brain understands that it needs to go towards light, what about you? What about you? What about you? What about you? If a plant knows that, what about you? What about you? What about you? You must embrace light. You must see light differently. Everybody else may not understand what light is because what they've been told or everything they've been exposed to about light in their life is just the sun shining and the bulb in their room or their phone touch light. I have told you, you cannot be like the majority. You cannot be like the majority. You cannot, your own light cannot be limited to those three things now. Your light is limited to the sunlight and um, bulb light in the house or your car headlight or your phone touch lights imagine that that's all the light that you know in this world just imagine god forbid that, that that's all you know about light just imagine that that's all you know about light that that's how you know about light god forbid though not on my watch 
absolutely not on my watch okay so it's good to have you guys today with a very nice short piece uh i don't intend for our lives to be that long because i don't want to bore people with so long you know but i'm sure you got it you got it right good 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 so tomorrow i think i'm doing the game of sight tomorrow yeah I think I'll need the game of sight tomorrow. Let's do the game of sight tomorrow. You guys are wonderful. I'm rooting for you. I am particularly invested in your success. I'm all for it. And I'm here to see it. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant afternoon. Sorry for the delay, but don't worry. Tomorrow it will be 8 30. And I will not miss it. I will not miss it tomorrow. It will be 30 on the dot. Love you guys so much. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Bye.